Ooh, ooh, very nice. What's she gonna look like? There you are, killer. She's a bit narcissistic. <laughs> what happened to my money? Oh dear girl, you didn't think the treasure was real, did you? It doesn't last. Such are the rules of beginner level magic. Beginner level? What if I level up? You're not ready. That will take I'd have to stay here for a week. Time for your checkup. Hello, fake Ava. You were totally right about season two, they really Spoilers. Listen to me carefully. Look, the only thing that's holding you back is you. And you Yeah, you could be You could be Ava 2.0. Look, Bishop may have created you, but he doesn't control you. Please, just think about what I said. Yeah, let it... let it fester. Ooh, she's thinking about it. Start from the bottom and work your way up like everyone else. No! I, uh, my bottom was just a little deeper than everyone else. She was else's. in hell. I won't go back to nothing, John. I didn't realize how hard it was for you. I promise I'll help you. Shall I remove the distraction? Don't worry, I know exactly where to place him. You gonna put him up? I can finally complete my search for the Fountain of Imperium out there in the heaven. Ooh. Let's bring you up to your final resting place. No, oh, maybe Alistair could pretend to be John and, uh, you know, bring her on the quest for the fountain. One of us would have this address oh, what? we're up John to date. Stops, hey, everybody. Alistair, where's your Wi-Fi router? I need to hook up Gideon. Ooh, what you making? Something... Hey, could everybody just slow down? We don't have the internet. What'd she do? Astro, what have you done? I just Alistair, turned you into stuff. <laughs> oh, that's flip phone's pretty good. First, create a magical energy containing amulet. What does it do? What does it do, dude? There is only one thing powerful enough to sustain this amulet. Yeah? A human soul. Uh, how about the racist guy? You said you wanted power. Can you think of anybody? Wonderful. She's gonna get him. See you soon. Well, what about the dog? Will the dog come to? Are you really luring an unsuspecting <laughs> neighbor over so you can steal his soul? I love this. Talking Oop. to? Oop. Let me at him. Oop. I'll fork his eyes out. Using humans as currency is wrong, remember? <laughs> Having Ava as this is perfect for her? I'm not worried about his soul. I'm worried about yours. Yeah. What about you, Astra? Out of my way. Astra, wait. Oh, Ooh, the cheese. A little late for the checkup. She looks she's ready to go. I want to help you. What you said to me earlier, it really struck a nerve. Is this a trick? Okay, dude, you just. I need you to stand here. Yo, you can still back out. You say something? No. Must be a draft. I said abracadabra, dude. Hey! That kind of stop is. It's just the television. I need to turn it off. I think you've left the telly on. Yeah, 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 exactly. Hold it up to his heart. And it will lich his very soul from his mortal coil. Yeah, like a fishing rod, you know? No, she doesn't have the heart to do What's it. This, then? Get out of here, Mr. She, Trust. She's not evil anymore. Who the bloody hell are you? He, he'll do it. Oh, it's a big one. That's it, Crowley. Pimuto! No, he's got the, the amulet now. Can't can't stop him. See you later, Astra. Go and find my find my fountain. Oh, <laughs> I like this. Is everything a cartoon? Oh, everything's a cartoon. Why? Oh, why must I be forced to see? She, she's a. Disney princess. It's Beauty and the Beast. We have a candlestick and this is amazing. <laughs> oh, this is... Oh, she forked him. Oh, shit. He's too powerful. Oh, maybe John can help. What the hell has Crowley done? <laughs> He's betrayed you and is about to gain well, untold power. Who could have seen that coming? Oh, 
He has the legends at his mercy. <laughs> what are we watching? This is this is amazing. A powerful cleansing spell. It expels all sorcery from the vicinity. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. Was, she was afraid I'd overdose, so she created a spell as a failsafe. So where is it? Okay. You don't suppose it's in this charming little book? Oh, it's book? in her diary. Of course. It's the song. You have to sing the song. This all fits. I can read the music, but how? I never could before. Just because you're a Disney princess. Cartoon princess knows how yeah. to sing, love. Are we not allowed to say Disney? Still my friend. You should just get out of there, dude. Are we trying to stop their power? Yeah. It's time to sleep. Mm -hmm. Nothing beats the power of song. <sighs> it's time to take a little nap. The animation is it's incredible. Ooh, she's singing inside him. No! Well, you tried, dude. You tried and failed miserably. You're back in the portrait. Better luck in a hundred years. Now get out. D don't talk to me ever again. Do you know the internet guy? Send him around. I know what that spell did to you, and I can help. The Beyond. fountain. The There's fountain. There's an unlimited source of power. Alien magic. The fountain is out there. <laughs> Your mom's expulsion spell. Let's just say that it was pretty effective. What do you, what do you mean? You would have no powers. Oh, I knew very well what the spell would do. It had to be done. We gotta find the fountain of Aperium. We just need to connect the fuel cell. I have a bad feeling about this, Sarah. What did you do? Damn it, Ava. What I had to. I actually needed you to lead me to the location of this ship so I could retrieve the rest of my cargo. Oh, yeah. You... Sarah Lance. Ooh, look at this. It's called data redundancy. Uh huh. He doesn't, he doesn't need the aliens. Yeah, what are you going to do against your dude? Do you have power? You got nothing, dude. Oh, maybe he's okay somehow. Ava? Was it a simulation? What? What's going on? Hey. How'd I get here? You're not dead. Chop his head off. Is he a robot? Oh, it's over. So, that was episode 5 of Legends of Tomorrow. We did go back to Sarah's storyline, which was very helpful. We did learn a little bit. I thought we weren't going to learn anything. He was very cryptic at the start. He was like, my name is... Shit, what, what did he say his name was? Bishop? Doesn't matter what his name is. He's just some guy we don't know. And he has this plan for gathering all the DNA from all the races and can make him... I don't know what he's doing. Making superhumans? It's a bit unclear on all that. And like colonizing the galaxy. He's got plans. He's also... He's got a bit of personality. He's a bit annoying. You know? He's a bit casual. Sarah snapped his head. It's going to take more than snapped head to get rid of him, probably. Well, obviously. Maybe she can get through to the Ava... The other Ava clones, maybe not. There's more. There's more that we're gonna see from that story as the, the weeks go on. Meanwhile, Astra is adjusting to life. See, I thought she left the show in the first episode, but it looks like she was just leaving the team and staying with John in the house, and she had a, a rough time of it while all the other episodes were going on. She was there in the house on her own, basically, trying to keep the, the lights on, and there's no food, no money. She, she can't get a job, there's no power, there's, no, there's nothing. But there is a portrait of a dude in the attic. It's not Dorian Gray, but it's next best thing. It's an evil, magical dude. Who... Thinks there's this fountain, you see? The fountain of the Imperium. This is like the loom of fate or the loom of destiny. They bring you this thing, magical sounding thing, early on in the season, and then it plays out later on. 
that place, I assume, maybe, is going to be where John gets his power back, or it's going to play into it. It's going to, we're going to weave our way to it. They didn't just bring it up and then, you know, we'll never hear of it again. It's a thing. It's a thing. You got into John's head. John has it in his head. You know, we got a spaceship. It's the alien season. May as well go for this alien fountain place. See what I can get. And it seems like Astra's gonna be around more. You know? But the highlight of the episode. The highlight of the season so far. Was the cartoonification of our cast. We've done puppets. We've done objects earlier in the episode, but now we've done animation and singing. It was a whole Disney number. It was great. It was great. I could watch a whole episode of that. Honestly, with Legends, I'd watch a whole season of anything they wanted to do. They're all puppets for a season. They're all cartoons. Once the show gets cancelled, any day now, probably, or maybe 10 years from now, yeah, animated series. Get all the voice actors in. It'll be just the same, as always. And cheap to make. Yeah. But the Arrowverse kind of collapses in on itself, you know? That's the outlet. Anyway, very entertaining episode. I loved it. Um, even though it was just mostly focused on Astro. But we got Sarah as well. And the rest of the cast bubbled in near the end. Um, I do like the idea of the, the portrait swapping places thing. I wonder if we could do that with other things. I thought the evil guy, Crawley, I keep wanting to say Crowley because of the supernatural, Crawley, um, I thought he was going to pretend to be John, you know. For the rest of the sea, uh, for a few episodes, to find the fountain, you know, but John is still up in the. They didn't. They didn't go that way. Anyway, I'll see you back here next week for episode six. Thanks for watching, as always. And uh, yeah, see ya. <laughs>